unlike any other planet in the solar system. Earth, our home planet, is the only one that supports life. What makes life possible is the atmosphere, a blanket of different gases that perform different functions. It's the ozone that exists in the stratosphere layer which protects Earth from the sun's harmful UV radiation. Ever imagined? What would happen if there was no ozone? Without the ozone layer, the sun's radiation would hit the Earth's surface directly, leading to disastrous effects on human health like eye cataract, skin cancer, etc. That's not enough. The absence of ozone would lead to widespread agriculture, forestry and marine life destruction. On May 16, 1985, scientists at the British Antarctic Survey discovered the ozone hole. Hyper-industrialization has incited stable man-made chemicals like chlorine and bromine to reach the stratosphere, which reacts with the ozone molecules. These chemicals, called ozone-depleting substances or ODS, include chlorofluorocarbons, halons, carbon tetrachloride, methyl chloroform, hydrochlorofluorocarbons, methyl bromide. The problem got world leaders worried, resulting in the Vienna Convention, an international treaty on the protection of the ozone layer being set in motion in the year 1985, followed by the Montreal Protocol that was set up in 1987. The goal? To repair and protect the ozone layer by phasing out production and consumption of ODS for all end applications. On 18th March 1991, India became a party to the Vienna Convention and ratified the Montreal Protocol on 19th June 1992. To set the ball rolling, the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change set up the ozone cell, which became responsible for implementing the Montreal Protocol guidelines. India's dedication to the cause of preventing the catastrophe from blowing up any further inspired all stakeholders, uniting about 175 foam manufacturing enterprises, including several MSMEs who switched to non-ODS and low GWP alternatives such as cyclopentane and Ecomate. The National Technical Institution Central Institute of Petrochemicals Engineering and Technology under the Department of Chemicals and Petrochemicals also joined hands. Complete support was provided to MSMEs for 8 CFC 141B phase-out. We were the first company to shift from CFCs to CFC-free technology. We moved to HCFCs and water. These ODS substances are very harmful for our environment. We were invited by Ozone Cell to change the technology to non-ODS uh, gases which we applied and we got the approvals. My company's contribution to these ODS substances was 7 metric tons which I was able to reduce. When we were previously using 141B for our insulation, now we have been shifted to Ecomate material which is eco-friendly. We feel honoured to be a part of that plan. We feel successful. We feel that uh, we have gone to a more environmentally benign technology. The phase-out of 8 CFC 141B demonstrates excellent cooperation between government, industry stakeholders, multilateral agencies and all other related groups collectively working towards the protection of the environment. Safe to say, India is leading the way ahead for other countries to follow suit motivating other UN member states to step up and energize their ozone protection initiatives. Exactly what's needed to prevent the catastrophe from taking place.